behind iconic franchises like The Elder Scrolls and Fallout put themselves into a game, then you know it's gonna be good. You also know, though, that Bethesda are the sort of company who like to take their time and not rush things. So we're looking forward to their E3 2018 press conference. The reason we are so excited about this is because the bosses at Bethesda say they're going to show us some more of the eagerly awaited Rage 2. Now, if you remember all the way back to 2007, and don't worry if you don't because 10 years is a generation in gaming, then you might remember word of a hot new first-person shooter called Rage. It got the sort of gamers who pay attention to those sorts of things really excited. However, you might also remember that Rage came out four years after the initial announcement in 2011. We think it was well worth the wait since it's rightly considered to be one of the great FPS games. But now there's going to be a sequel. We aren't entirely sure what the new game is going to be like, although a trailer did drop in May 2018. We know we'll be playing as Walker, the last ranger of Vineland, as he explores a post-apocalyptic landscape, and we know the sequel will be released in 2019. Hopefully, we'll learn even more at E3. Spider-Man With great power comes great responsibility. It's like if you're Sony and you've got the PlayStation 4 as the main weapon in your gaming arsenal, then you should really be bringing out some of the very best games around. You'll want to give gamers something they want from the absolute get-go. Yes, they're gonna give us a game we can properly marvel at. Spider-Man! Now, this isn't the first time Spidey's shown up in a video game. The more, shall we say, experienced among us can remember playing the amazing Spider-Man on the Game Boy back in the early 90s. But this is his first meeting with this generation of consoles. It's being developed by Insomniac, and it looks fascinating. We know you won't just be able to play as Peter Parker and his web-slinging alias, you'll have other characters, such as Mary Jane Watson, who will prove key to the game. It looks as if his main nemeses will be Mr. Negative and Shocker, and it'll take place a few years into Spidey's crime-fighting career. It's going to be exclusive to the PlayStation 4, and it's going to be coming out in September of 2018. This makes us think that the lucky attendees at E3 will be able to have a sneak preview play of this. The Last of Us Part 2 if you've never played The Last of Us, you really, really should. While it is a linear game, it has the depth you would expect from an open-world adventure. Oh, and it's one of the few video games which has made us cry, within 20 minutes of starting, too. Yes, this glorious, dark, touching, and highly playable tale of an America which has suffered a zombie apocalypse is high on our list of games for the PS3 which you absolutely need in your life. It turns out developers Naughty Dog are hard at work on a sequel, which is wonderful news. We are super excited to see just what Joel and Ellie have been up to in the five years since the end of The Last of Us. It looks like Naughty Dog are going to put out a new trailer at E3 2018 too, which makes us rather wish that we were in Los Angeles. We saw exactly what this combination of survival horror and action-adventure did last time out, so now we're dying to discover more about what it'll do this time around on the PS4. Skull and Bones Last year, we got excited about Skull and Bones, and we're darn well going to get excited about it this year, too. Just in case you weren't aware of the premise for Skull and Bones, we'll tell you. Do you remember Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag? The main character, Edward Kenway, is our favorite Welsh video game character ever. What we really loved about the game was the naval battles. Well, Skull and Bones takes those awesome ship fights and it appears basically makes an entire game out of it. You get to sail across the Indian Ocean, splicing main braces and performing feats of daring do or possibly daring don't at the same time. What we think might just be the best thing of all though is that there's going to be an online multiplayer option. Oh, and it's made by Ubisoft Singapore who developed the nautical battles in Assassin's Creed 4. Anthem this looks absolutely intriguing and a heck of a lot of fun. We are big fans of EA's Bioware Studio. We loved playing Baldur's Gate on our PCs all the way back in the 90s, and we've dug the likes of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and Neverwinter Nights, too. So when people started talking about a new product from the Canadian game makers, we wanted to know more. Anthem is a game which is going to combine action, role-playing, and open-world elements. Those are three things we absolutely love in games. You'll take control of a character called a freelancer, and you'll set out to explore new worlds. Even better, it's going to be an always online game, which makes it all the more intriguing. We seriously hope there's no loot crate debacle with this one, but we'll have to wait until 2019 to actually play it and find out. Super Smash Bros. If there's one video game company who always finds a way to deliver, it's Nintendo. 
one of Nintendo's biggest franchises is set to make its debut appearance on the new console. Yes, Switch players will be able to feel the energy and step into the world of Super Smash Bros. Ever since this gloriously brilliant fighting game made its debut on the N64 back in 1999, it's become one of the most wildly popular series Nintendo has ever created, and believe us, that really is saying rather a lot. Nintendo have been trailing this in a big way for the LA conference. We know the firm's exhibition is going to be based all around Super Smash Bros., which has got us even more excited than we would normally be. And we'd be pretty darn excited anyway. We don't know which characters will be available, although we understand there will be characters from Splatoon joining the likes of Mario, Link, and all the others. We're hoping Nintendo will do what they do best. Deliver the goods. FIFA 19 One of the biggest challenges video games in general face is getting some crossover appeal. It may sound surprising, but not every gamer is a hardcore gamer, nor do they aspire to be one. Anyway, the holy grail is the game which appeals to people who don't play games. But one of the biggest franchises in gaming right now does just that. When you think of big, iconic video game series, you think of the likes of Super Mario Bros., Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed, The Elder Scrolls, and the like. However, EA's FIFA games are right up there in terms of brand recognition, which is why a sneak peek at FIFA 19 could very well end up being the highlight of E3 for a lot of people. With soccer being the world's most popular sport, it surprisingly took a long time for there to be a classic game based on it. However, when EA started the FIFA franchise, it certainly hit the back of the net with fans across the world. The introduction of Career Mode and Ultimate Team really helped the franchise cement its place at the top of the sports gaming dream. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Some games end up both defining and redefining their genre. The Call of Duty series is one such example. Ever since the games started to come out, they helped create a new generation for whom first-person shooters were the definitive gaming experience. When Call of Duty branched out in 2010 by creating the Black Ops series, people weren't sure how to take it. This wasn't a game featuring ultra-modern or even futuristic action. No, this was a game based around special ops dealings in the 60s. However, taking modern history as an inspiration helped to secure the series in the hearts and consoles of gamers across the world. The franchise became even more popular than before. Now a fourth Black Ops game is set to hit our gaming machines and we're excited and hoping we'll find out more at E3. While Black Ops 4 is still a first-person shooter, what looks so awesome about it is that it combines all different kinds of shoot 'em up into one cool package. There are elements of zombie games as well as hero shooters, and they'll be introducing a battle royale mode as well. It looks amazing, and we think it'll be a major talking point of E3 2018. Death Stranding Death Stranding is the latest work by Hideo Kojima, the genius behind the Metal Gear series. Since leaving Konami a few years back, he's been working on something. Okay, so here's what we do know about Death Stranding. We know the game has a bit of a sci-fi, perhaps almost Blade Runner-esque vibe to it. We know it's going to feature Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead and Mads Mikkelsen from Hannibal among its voice cast. We also know it's going to involve sticks and ropes. That's pretty much all we know. If Kojima's past is anything to go by though, we definitely want to know more. Shadow of the Tomb Raider Tomb Raider was one of those games which basically came out and changed everything. Before Tomb Raider, Sony was pretty much just an electronics company. When Lara first showed up on the PlayStation though, she fired a warning shot. There was a new kid on the gaming block, and it was playing to win. While there have been a range of new gaming systems from Sony, they've all had a Tomb Raider game to go with them, and now it's the PS4's turn. Nowadays though, you don't need the latest PlayStation because they're on the Xbox and PC too. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is going to be the latest installment in the franchise, and it looks awesome. We think it's going to wrap up Lara's origin story, but most of all, we can't wait to see more of it and maybe even play it. What game at E3 2018 are you most stoked for? Are there any we may have missed? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer.